the SARS-CoV-2 or coronavirus enters our body through the air, its mode of transmission is through droplets, aerosol spread and to a lesser extent through contaminated surfaces. By droplet transmission of the infection, we mean that the virus can be transmitted from person to person while talking, sneezing or coughing. By aerosol spread, we mean that the virus can be transmitted as it remains suspended in the air for a much longer time. The virus mainly enters your body through the nose and then begins the incubation period. The incubation period lasts from 2 to 14 days. Incubation meaning the virus just enters the tissues of your body and just sits there. It is during this period wherein you can transmit the virus to other people. The median incubation period is known to be of about 5 days. The incubation period is the first phase of the disease. I will put up a graph here to serve as an illustration to give you some clarity. From here starts the symptomatic phase of the disease, which lasts for up to 5 days. Here people will might present with mild symptoms and there is also a percentage of people which will have no symptoms at all. This stage of the disease is also known as a stage of viral replication. This is where the virus uses the mechanisms of your cells to make copies of itself. You see, the COVID-19 virus affects four main systems. It affects your intestines, affects your liver, affects your skin and of course the lungs. Therefore, some of the first symptoms people complain about could be a diarrhea, could be of skin rashes and also affects the eyes. It's the conjunctiva, there can be redness of the eyes. It is also known that the markers of liver enzymes can increase. And of course, you start with symptoms of upper respiratory infections such as a cough, sneezing, sore throat, etc. The treatment for this phase of the disease is mostly symptomatic and most people will be fine after this phase of the disease and will be fit, hale and hearty in an about 7 to 10 days. However, it is important that we keep an eye out for the next phase of the disease. The next phase of the disease is the phase of disease where there is inflammation. The inflammatory phase of the disease is also the pulmonary phase of the disease. This is when the coronavirus enters our lungs, invades it. The immune cells of our body begin fighting versus the coronavirus. In the battle which ensues, there is a huge amount of debris and inflammation which is caused. In about 7 to 8 days, the coronavirus is dead and gone. But what is left behind is a huge amount of inflammation and thromboinflammation. These are micro clots which are formed in your lungs. And this is what leads to pneumonia. It is very important that you get treatment in this phase of the disease. Treatment strategies include mostly corticosteroids and blood thinners. It is important to get treatment at this phase so that you do not progress to the next phase of the disease, which is where you require oxygen either through invasive or non-invasive means. By non-invasive, we mean an oxygen mask and by invasive, we mean things like a ventilator. The pulmonary phase of the disease denotes the starting or the formation of a pneumonia. This pneumonia could be mild, moderate or severe. You would like to catch this pneumonia early before it spreads. In this phase of the disease, you will get cough, difficulty in breathing, tightness in the chest. You will find your oxygen saturation levels dropping, fever which you cannot control and you want to at all costs not to progress to the next stage of the disease. The late pulmonary phase of the disease is the phase of the disease we all would like to avoid. It is at this phase of the disease where there is what we know as a cytokine storm. This is nothing but a huge immune response by the cells of your own body which causes an acute, acute, acute inflammation. As a result of which there is a condition known as ARDS which is caused, Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. The only way out from here is to intubate the patient and ventilate him. Once ventilated, the patient has a 50% chance of survival. There's a little bit of a statistic which shows that if a patient eventually fully recovers, it will take him around 22 days. If unfortunately he does not, he may pass away in about 18 days. I hope this video has given you a little bit of insight on the progression of the COVID-19 disease. And if it did, please do give me a like, a subscribe would be awesome. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Until then, signing out. Dr. Rohan Fonseca.